Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and we're back with another Open Core Legacy Patcher Update 0.6.5. In this video, I'm going to go over all the changes and fixes in this release, along with talking about the focus of the update, Mac OS Ventura 13.3.1 RSR Update A, that caused some problems with some Haswell Macs, and then we're going to go over a full demo on how to update the latest version of 0.6.5 on a 2010 MacBook running an old version of 0.5.3. That'll be interesting. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started started. So let's first go over the focus of this update for 0.6.5. This release of OpenCore Legacy Petra 0.6.5 is primarily targeted against rapid security response updates introduced with Mac OS Ventura 13.3.1a. This should resolve the Windows Server crashing that some users experience primarily on Haswell iGPU only Macs. What happened was is that if you watch my 0.6.4 video, the demo that I did was actually a Skylake 2016 MacBook Pro that did not have the issue. But if you have a Haswell Mac, which is basically the bare minimum right now to be able to install an RSR update, you had some problems. And what would happen is, is that after installing the RSR, the Mac would come up to a black screen because Windows Server was crashing. That was reported immediately and the Cola jumped right in to try to solve the issue and they got a fix. Oh, that's not the only fix in this release. There's some other quality of life improvements here and one of them is around the adding of support for USB 1.1 and USB 3.0 controller coexistence. Now you might remember in one of my previous videos I talked about this as being a problem. So for example if you had a Mac Pro and you had a USB 3.0 controller card you could not install Mac OS Ventura. You had to pull that out or you would have a bunch of problems. So that's a really great fix here. And there was also a canvas rendering issue on Safari for non-metal GPU Macs. An example of that that would be if you are using application like Google Docs in Safari that was causing some problems. So those are some of the focus of the 0.6.5 update. We're going to go into some of the change log fixes next. One of the issues that was reported in is if you use PowerPoint's presentation mode. That was actually causing some crashes on 13.3 plus on metal. We already talked about the Google Docs and the non-metal binaries fixing the Safari canvas rendering issue. And we also talked about you can use 3.0 controller cards on 5.1. There was also an OpenCL rendering issue on NVIDIA web drivers that was fixed by Jasney. Another issue that was fixed is that the application was having trouble downloading macOS installers on unknown models. So what would an unknown model to the application be? Well, an M2 Mac and some Hackintoshes were having problems with that, that's been resolved. There's also now a new minimum OS check for installer creation. And this prevents some weird errors that when you're trying to create a Ventura installer on Mac OS Yosemite, so El Capitan and later. We also covered the initial rapid security response error for Haswell iGPUs for 13.3.1a. There was also an update to legacy wireless binaries that resolved a Wi-Fi crashing issue on 13.3. That's not even out yet on these chipsets. Now, to change it up a little bit, I pulled out my Unibody 2010 MacBook. I love this thing. And this device hasn't been powered on in a while, and you can see how old it is. It's running Mac OS Monterey 12.3 and OpenCore Legacy Patcher 0.5.3 all the way back from December of 2022 on OpenCore Release 087. So this has been sitting around for a while and it needs to be updated. It's a perfect system to show you that even if we're older, we can still get all of the OpenCore Legacy Patcher apps, OpenCore and the root patches installed and updated with the latest version. The first thing that we can do just to easily get our link is close the patcher and reopen it and it immediately will check to see if if there's a new update available. And in this case, we've got 0.6.5. Let's click on view on GitHub, and then we're gonna get the latest release. We'll scroll down here to the assets and click on open core patcher GUI. Okay, yeah, so I'm almost done downloading. We'll minimize this, and then we will close our older version of 0.5.3. So when we copy it over, it'll be able to be done. And we'll open up the applications folder. Now we can grab it from our downloads folder and drag it over and replace. Done. Let's open it up. Click on open. There we go. 
0.6.5, step one complete. Now that we have the application, we gotta go to step two. We're gonna update the open core to our EFI partition to the latest release. So let's click on build and install open core. But before we do that, if you have any custom settings in here, like show boot picker, or if you have a Mac Pro or a Mac mini and you're adjusting the timeout, you'll have to set that in there. But if that's all good for you, click return to the main menu and click build and install open core and install the disk, Samsung SSD, and EFI partition. Password. Now, we could also update the root patches here by clicking ignore and click install root patches, but I like to do it in a two-step process. I like to install the open core first just to make sure there's no issues, then come back up and install the root patches. If you wanna just click ignore here and install the root patches all in one go, that's up to you, but I like doing this as a little bit of a, a check here. So we'll click on reboot and restart. All right, we'll back up, we'll log in. Okay, we're back up. Let's check our release of OpenCore to make sure we update it properly. We'll click the up button to get the previous command for MVRAM. And there we are. We're running the latest version of OpenCore 0.9.1 for April 3rd, 2023. Now keep in mind, the update of 0.6.5 did not include a revision to the OpenCore patches. So that remained the same for 0.6.4. So that's done. Now let's open up our app to update the root patches. That's step three. We'll click on post install root patch here. And we see that we need to install NVIDIA Tesla. So let's hit start root patching and yes. Password. All right, we're complete. Let's click on reboot and restart. Let's log in. All right, let's verify that the root patch is installed properly. We'll click post install root patch and we should see all applicable patches already installed. May the fourth be with you. Now we got the version of OpenCore updated to 0.6.5. This 13 inch white MacBook unibody can now update to the latest version of macOS Monterey 12.6.5 and they'll be all set to go. How did the installation of 0.6.5 work for you? Did it go flawlessly? Did you have any issues? Did you run into the RSR issue? Let me know in the comments and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.